Hello and welcome to Gaming Lordcast with Danny. This is again Helmu Stories. And this time we have the Suicide Booth starring Skinner. Let's get on with the story, shall we? We start off our story on a regular day. Skinner is over in the orphanage doing what he does best killing orphans, which are the scrub mobs. So there is no way he could ever die to them. While he's doing this, we have someone watching him, a player, someone holding a fire axe. He watches with bated breath, watching Skinner as he kills the orphans, waiting for his chance to strike. When it comes, Skinner's back turned, he attacks. He scores a blow, straight across Skinner's back, critical hit. Skinner's health now in the red, low, he does the only thing he can. He runs like a little sissy bitch. Being tailed by the player, Skinner stops quickly at the doors to check his surroundings. He sees a hope. What he believes is a telephone booth. He quickly runs inside to hide. When in there, he quickly makes contact with me. He tells me about his situation, about getting attacked in the orphanage while fighting orphans. He tells me he ran and that he needs help now because he's trapped. I ask him, Skinner, where are you? And he says, I'm in the telephone booth outside of the orphanage. And I'm just thinking, there's no telephone booth out of the, outside of the orphanage. And then it hit me. He's in the fucking suicide booth. And... He's thinking it is a telephone booth. And I'm like, Skinner, this isn't a telephone booth. It's a teleporter. Basically, it's a teleporter with two buttons. What you need to do is push one of them and it'll teleport you to a place. Now, the only problem is these two buttons are mislabeled and make you think it's something else. The only problem is if you push one of them, it will take you to one of the higher level areas whereas the other one will take you to the safety of the corporation. And he's like, well, which one do I push? And I tell him, slow and painful. And he believes me and pushes it. Now, all those of you who have seen Future Armor should know what happens next. There's whirring, there's buzzing, there's saws and knives and whatever else comes out and stabs the absolute shit out of him. So he screams as he gets stabbed, mutilated and everything, and then he drops dead. Good job, Skinner. You really shouldn't trust me, should you? When Skinner respawns, he doesn't respawn in the usual place. He respawned in hell. And Skinner's like, what the actual living fuck is all this? And I'm like, Skinner, you just committed suicide. You are now in hell. There's no heaven for you. There's no proper respawn. You are in hell. So Skinner, trying to get his bearings, takes a look around him. And who else is sitting, well, bathing in a lava bath? It's none other than fucking Hitler. Hitler, just there, relaxing in a fucking lava bath. What the fuck is going on here? So Skinner turns around, and then behind him is the biggest motherfucking demon he's ever seen. <clears throat> By biggest, I don't mean tall. I mean it's got the biggest fucking dick he's ever seen. I'm pretty sure he has seen a lot of dicks as well. It's Skinner we're talking about. But this thing was so big, and Skinner's like, oh god no. And then the unthinkable happened. It grabbed him. And then you know what came next. And that is the story of Skinner playing with a demon in hell because he went into a suicide booth mistakenly and trusted Danny. Thank you all for listening. And I hope we will get to have another story time soon. Ciao.